If you have chronic pain or recurring instance of pain, you can fix your own chronic pain yourself. Here's how. I'm Dr. Anthony Davis, and I'm going to show you how you can fix your own chronic pain with education and exercise. First, I just wanna say that if you've been dealing with chronic pain for many years, I see you. I acknowledge your struggle and there is a way out. The solution is simple. It doesn't have to be complex, but it does take effort on your part. So it's simple, but it might not necessarily be easy because it is going to take commitment. And everybody wants a quick fix. You want, oh, it's this simple exercise. Oh, it's this simple you know, uh, self-affirmation tool, whatever. It's simple, it is simple, but it's not easy because it does mean you have to actually do some work. But it works if you work it. So work it, because you're worth it. Comment below if you know where that's from. <laughs> In a second, I'm going to use one of my favorite metaphors um, and, and show you some slides actually from a low back pain uh, educational course that I've made. But first, let's talk about this primary fundamental component of your own journey out of pain, and that is self Efficacy. So self-efficacy is your ability to do things on your own. It means that when you have a problem, you turn to yourself first to be able to solve it. And we have loads of research showing that if you have good self-efficacy, that you will have decreased levels of pain, increased uh, levels of mobility, and decreased risk of future pain. So let's look at a picture here, and I want you to pause for a second and just look at this picture and tell me what is wrong with this picture. Well, we have somebody who's out at sea. It looks like they're drowning and they're shouting for someone to save them. But if you look closely under the water, you can see that it's shallow water. So this person doesn't have to be drowning at all. Now the problem is that maybe this person, from their vantage point, maybe the water is dark and murky and scary. And they've, in the past, maybe they've been out in an ocean and been attacked by some kind of shark or jellyfish or something like that. And so now they have a trauma response to being in the ocean at all. And it's worse because they can't even see under the water. So they're especially afraid of being in the water at all. They have so much fear in them that they are unable to stop, to pause, to step back and genuinely and objectively, calmly assess their situation to see that they are in shallow water. So as far as they are concerned, they are in a dangerous spot and they need help immediately. And they can't save themselves, they need somebody else to rescue them. But guess what? No doctor on the planet is gonna save you from your chronic pain. So I wanna pause, I wanna pause here because this is where this might come off as though um, it's your fault. It's not your fault that you're in chronic pain, but it is up to you to come up with your own solution. Okay, I wanna emphasize that one more time. It is not your fault that you have chronic pain, but it is your responsibility. You have the power. You are empowered to solve it on your own. I promise there is so much research on the ability to solve your own chronic pain if you have a little bit of education and you are willing to put in the work. It works, I promise. Okay, so let's go back to this picture of the quote unquote drowning person. Well, this person looks like they're drowning. As far as they can tell, they can't see under the water. They think they're drowning. They think there are a bunch of uh, scary things in the water that are going to gobble them up and they need to get out of the water fast and they need somebody else to help them do it. Well, let's say that somebody cannot go out and literally pull them up onto a raft and go back into the shore. Well, in that case, then what somebody could do, for example, this is is what I do as a doctor. I teach people, I educate people on how to save themselves. So for, for me, I would be from shore um, coaching this person. I would say, hey, here's the education. You are in shallow water, I promise you. So I'm educating you about your surroundings. Also, I can see under the water for you, okay? I can see this for you and I'm telling you, there are no sharks. It is safe to stand up in the water, and if you do it, you will be able to walk to the shore. Okay, so this is the education part that you need. So you need the education to get context and take stock of your surrounding, but then you need exercise. So now that you know where you are in space, you know that you can stand up in the shallow water, you know you're not gonna get bitten by a shark, now it's time for you to start 
walking to shore. But here's where everybody seems to fall short. As they start this journey, they stand up in the water and they say, oh, okay, okay, I think actually I can do this. And they take one step and they've got bare feet. They take one step and they step on something pointy. And then they say, ah, crap. I knew it. I knew these waters were dangerous. Yeah, it, I get it. It's shallow water, but the whole, you know, uh, ocean floor is riddled with sharp objects that are going to stab my feet. So it's not safe. I told you that it wasn't safe. So maybe they thought it was a crab. A crab bit their, or um, you know, clawed their foot. Or maybe they thought it was some other kind of ocean creature that otherwise damaged them and is out to get them. Well, maybe it was just kind of a pointy rock and maybe it was a total coincidence. Maybe it was a total accident. And if you just kept walking, then you would walk your way to shore. So it takes education to get your surroundings and then it takes exercise and it takes commitment to that exercise. It takes bravery to step your feet on unknown ocean floors, so to speak. But if you have an internal locus of control, which means that you believe that you have the ability to solve these problems on your own, that you control your destiny, that you can make things happen, you are going to have a much better recovery from chronic pain than somebody who has an external locus of control that believes that, oh, well, they control my destiny. So this, let's say I had an external locus of control. My attitude would be like, well, you know, somebody else is in control of my destiny. My, my boss is in control of my destiny. My genetics, I just have crappy bones. I just have crappy genes. Or well, things are happening to me rather than I'm making things happen. And that person is gonna have crappier results. They're not going to recover from pain nearly as well as a person with an internal locus of control. By the way, these slides are from my low back pain education and rehabilitation course. It's on my website. You can access it if you are an all access member. So check it out. So if you've tried everything for chronic pain, if you've tried going to acupuncturists and chiropractors and physical therapists and medical doctors and neurologists and other types of doctors and nobody's gotten you any results, well, let's be honest. Maybe you haven't actually tried everything right? And that means good evidence-based education plus, plus you need to be dedicated and put in the work and gradually exercise. We start at your, what you can handle. We start at your tolerance and then we gradually work your way into harder and higher, harder exercises and build up strength and endurance and cardiovascular fitness. And eventually if you put in the work, then you will have good results. So put in the work. I believe in you, you can do it. You can find your way out of chronic pain. It's going to be a long journey and it's going to take bravery. I'm here if you want my help, but you can do this on your own. I'm Dr. Davis, motion is lotion, movement is medicine. And for that note, because this is chronic pain, not just movement is medicine, food is medicine, sleep is medicine, meditation is medicine, breathing is medicine, surrounding yourself with good people and doing meaningful things in your life, that's medicine too. So life is medicine. I'll see you in another video.